Here's exactly what Jennifer Lopez is seeking in her divorce from Ben Affleck. Jennifer Lopez has filed for divorce from Ben Affleck exactly two years after their Georgia wedding ceremony, a source close to the singer tells NBC News. Jennifer filed documents at the Los Angeles County Superior Court on August 20th. Since the announcement of Jennifer Lopez finally filing for divorce and putting an end to all the rumors and drama surrounding everything, surrounding if there for sure was a split going on between her and Ben Affleck, as more and more information and details continue to come out about their marriage, it's making more and more sense as to why the marriage didn't last. Today, we will be revealing more details as far as what was in the divorce papers and just what went wrong. And asks the judge to deny Ben the same type of payment according to the documents obtained by TMZ. An insider tells NBC News that the pair did not have a prenuptial agreement, meaning the money earned by both Ben and Jennifer since their July 2022 marriage in Las Vegas is considered community property between the couple. Despite being the one to pull the trigger on the divorce, Lopez says a fifth insider is heartbroken. But she's also a realist and knew by then the marriage was beyond saving. Lopez listed their date of separation as April 26th, and the pair did indeed spend most of the past four months apart. Jennifer and Ben's breakup didn't come totally out of nowhere. Speculation that the couple were headed for a split loomed heavy for months before the singer filed the paperwork. In fact, Ben even hinted that he and Jennifer have had incompatible lifestyle preferences since the early aughts in her The Greatest Love Story Never Told documentary, which was released six months before they called it quits. One of the first signs that us fans figured out was when she appeared at the Met Gala alone. Even though Benifer stayed tight-lipped on the split rumors, social media speculation continued to get loud after fans noticed JLo had liked an Instagram post about relationship red flags a few months before. You can't build a relationship with someone who is disconnected from themselves, the caption of the March 19th post read. We can't expect someone to see us when we can't see themselves. Getting in a relationship is the easy part. Nurturing and fostering it is a different story. After all, love is not a feeling, it's action. A lot of people close to them saw this coming a mile away, especially this being the second time at this relationship, and there was a reason it didn't work the first time around. And it seems like JLo has finally made up her mind on another place to live. But we wanted to turn this around to you guys. What do you think about all this and where they will go from here? Let us know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. Make sure you're subscribed with notifications on for more videos just like this. That's it for today though. We'll see you all next time with a brand new video. Bye guys.